Hello guys, uh, welcome to the Cloud Tech Talks uh, uh, channel. So today um, uh, we're gonna do a walkthrough session of the Google Cloud uh, portal. So this is the first time actually uh, I've created a, a test account. You can, you can uh, see here um, it says the free trial status of $300, which is coming around like Indian rupees 21. And they're giving for 90 days remaining. If you look at in Azure, uh, it's only 30 days, right, with uh, a $200 uh, uh, change. So, um, so I'm just exploring uh, the uh, the both AWS, GCP, and Azure to see what is the difference between the uh, these cloud platform portals. So I've uh, just logged in, and um, you can see we have a home. Uh, under we have a dashboard activity recommendations and you have a marketplace you have a billing you have api and services support uh, i am an admin getting started security Thanos. if i scroll down i see a compute under which we have an app engine compute engine kubernetes engine cloud functions cloud run vmware engine and uh, if i scroll down under storage, we have categories of uh, file, st uh, file store, storage, data transfer, and databases. We have uh, big table, data store, file store, memory store, spanner, SQL, and networking. We have VPC network, network services, hybrid connectivity, network service tiers, network security, network intelligence and we have uh, operations we have monitoring debugging error reporting and we have a bunch of tools here like cloud build uh, task container registry scheduler api gateways and we have a big data uh, composer data proc and artificial intelligence AI platform data labeling and other google solutions and partner solutions so um, so the completely the terminology between um, the uh, Azure, AWS, and GCP completely uh, varies. So here, uh, GCP, you don't have, uh, you don't see those uh, resource groups kind of a stuff, and all that. Here, it's kind of a, a project based. You can go ahead and create a, you know, project, a new project, and then you will create resources under it. So I want, I'm very excited to see the compute engine. The first thing, uh, um, I mean, maybe I think uh, we should cover in later uh, in later sessions. So I would like to go and check, uh, you know, um, the, um, the the account. Uh, yeah, I would like to see identity and organization first. So, uh, so this is a, you know, uh, you need to follow checklist if you want to create a uh, you know an enterprise level identity where you can manage user accounts and groups for employees right that is one thing so if I go to the go to the checklist so your current account uh, is not associated with an organization on Google Cloud so uh, so you cannot go and just create an organization it should associate it should be have a business account okay so uh, then only you can go to create that. But if I go back to the, let's say, um, all right. So the the here it is uh, where you can um, you know add new users for the access. Currently only one, uh, you can see the role is owner. But however, you can add uh, various um, users for different roles. That is one thing. So currently I don't have anything as I said, you know, uh, you can, I um, mean, uh, Google always you, all works in, in, you know, projects wise. So currently I don't have anything. I want to go to the dashboard. 
So you can see um, the project information, the APIs, the resources. Currently, uh, there are no resources uh, unless until I go and create a. So this app engine is is different. This web app engine, I think. Um, the compute engine where we have all the virtual machines, stem instances, machine images, TPUs, okay, uh, storage, you have disk snapshots images, um, OS patch management. That is uh, for the from the compute engine. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, so this is where you can go ahead and create uh, the VMs and um, so so requires uh, an API so this is getting a uh, it's saying computer engine is getting ready this may take a minute or more so this is half that is so if I go back to the, um, the API and services so you have a lot of um, uh, categories here right I'll just go ahead and create um, let's see what um, options it will give when we're creating um, an instance so um, the name is a permanent one so you can add a labels so this is the region you can see a uh, US uh, U the USA North America Europe and Asia Pacific um, regions and if you look at the zones we have uh, US central zones and you can have the uh, the machine family general purpose compute optimized memory optimized and under uh, general purpose you have uh, EN uh, series first generation second generation series where it's where you know you can see here um, shared core with uh, 4 GB RAM if you go to the compute optimized So this is a bit like a C series, like uh, it uh, high end is a 60B core with 240GB RAM. If I go to the memory optimized, the highest is a 160B core with 3.75TB uh, of memory. And you can have the boot disk, um, either uh, you can change this one. And the firewall so this is a bit um, yeah easy to uh, provision okay not complex so um, so this is uh, what I want to show you guys um, how to create a, and what is the uh, you know the difference between uh, the Azure um, the uh, AWS and GCP so uh, I'm uh, giving the link for the uh, AWS uh, portal walkthrough in the comments uh, in the description you can you can check that if similarly I have the uh, the walkthrough uh, uh, for the Azure portal also so the idea is to make you guys uh, a multi-cloud specialist so that you know um, uh, most of guys stick to one cloud platform guys remember the future is multi-cloud so you should learn all these basics at least you know the portal basics so that you will be aware uh, of what is happening um, you know so um, so that's it guys so thank you so much for watching the video and stay tuned for more updates and videos bye for now and have a nice day ahead